something, something, something. We can see to it. Ah, to. Uh, whoa, what kind of trophy did I get? Oh, what the? F Oops. Didn't mean to. Mm, nah, I don't need an update, do I? Uh, what happened here? Four by Gore! What the hell is this? Oh, yeah, I didn't really check out the uh, trophy system. The trophies I get, do I? Finish chapter four. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Earn every other trophy in the game. Despair's last reward. Can you do it later? And trophy. I'm guessing there's two more trophies left. In terms of chapters. That's my guess. So this is like chapter 5 achievement. And there's going to be an extra chapter later on. I'm pretty close to finishing the game. So fill in every page of Byakuya's report card. Kyoko's. Okay. So basically a lot of report cards. I imagine Sayaka's report card is relatively easy to fill out because all you have to do is just talk to her and since she immediately dies you have to talk to her like every day filled in every page of I always report her unless there's like new game plus in which you could like do it again and again and again and about every page in every character's report card collect 999 monokuma coins collect 50 unique presents collect every possible present <laughs> clear the 10 sp threshold okay Okay, so basically a lot more collectibles. I think I could easily do this. Clear every class trial without using your concentration. Jesus fuck, that sounds horrible. Uh, destroy 500 white noises across the line in all class trials. Okay. Okay, how to get out of here again? There we go. Alright, I should probably save just in case. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, welcome back to the game. I'm just do this safe real quickly before anything um, bad happens. I'm gonna save it here just in case. In case like this file fucks up or something. All right. Anyways, one after another, everyone made their way to the dining hall, and for too long, hmm. it would appear everyone has returned. But still, it's just the six of us. That's barely enough for a decent volleyball team. Just a second. Hey, don't be such a sourpuss. We gotta think positive. Besides, even if one more person dies, we can still fill a basketball team. Hey. That's true. That's like reverse positive thinking. Anyway, there's more time to be. De there's no time to be depressed. For the sake of everyone we've lost, we have to do our best. Hmm. Can we stop all this group hug nonsense? We need to find out what everyone's discovered. Okay. Let's start with you, Aoi. Actually, no, let's start with Toka, because I'm pretty sure she's going to be silent the entire time. Hey, Byakuya, it seems like Toka wants to say something. What? So, why are you telling me? Hey. Well, because you told her to zip it or whatever. Ah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Jesus, man, I know you like torturing her, but come on! Well, Toko, if you want to envelop us with all your putrid breath, I won't stop you. <laughs> <laughs> you honor me, master. <laughs> I forgot that's her like other personality voice, but I don't fucking care. I hate this bitch. <laughs> don't worry. How to have the uh, odor problem? <laughs> she could be like a creepy creeper or something. <laughs> Seriously, you're just gonna take it? Just <laughs> shut up. You don't interrupt my ma master and me are talking. Um... Okay, so what did you want to tell us? Well, uh, I was in the classroom on the f fifth floor, and s something caught my t attention. It was th this. A knife? Oh, that thing is huge, like Rambo size. What? It's a survival knife of some type. But what was it doing in a classroom? Well. How would I know? Very suspicious. What are you going to use that knife for? What are you planning to do with us? I'm not gonna do anything. I just picked it up and I don't want to leave a knife like slaying around. I'd rather have it laying around than in the hands of a serial killer. Don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. Listen, more importantly, now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? We can't just let Toko keep it, that's for sure. We don't know what she might do. I don't want it anymore, it's too so dangerous! So, what to do? Why don't you hang on to Makoto? Why are you putting it on me exactly? 
so that you can have some sort of liability account in case someone gets murdered with a knife? <laughs> oh yeah, I trust Makoto to take care of it. Then that's that. Uh, hold on, I don't get a say? It's all clear now. It just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. Are you sure it's trust? I feel like they're just using me. <laughs> okay, so, so here you go, Makoto. They're acting like I already said yes. Fine. I guess there's nothing I can do. I'll just keep it in my desk drawer for now. Anyway, that that's all I wanted to say. I have a feeling I'm gonna get fucked. Hard. From this trial. Hey, Toko. Ah, do I still have a bad breath? Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm sorry, it stinks. I'm sorry. That's fine. You made a valuable discovery. Good job. Huh? 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 Hey, hey, hey! The, the master just... Praise me? <laughs> hey, good for you. <laughs> oh god, no, don't, 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 don't sneeze, don't sneeze. Someone cover her fucking nose, please. I'm dreaming, I must be dreaming. Huh. That I would ever experience such a dream? Ah, 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 it feels... Fuck, I sound so constipated. Okay, stop moaning, Toko. You're not a good sex partner. Please never do that again. Whenever I look at Toko these days, it makes me feel sad. Okay, Toko actually got some useful information. That could fuck me over, but useful information nonetheless. There's a knife there, it probably could persist to the time whatever that happened, the biggest, most unpleasant despair ever happened in this floor or whatever. Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor, and I found more than one thing to be worried about. A stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, and I know what you're gonna say, but a tool shed. Let's start with a stupidly large plant. Monokuma said that it was called a Monokuma flower. Even touching it seems dangerous, so we have to be careful. You're serious? It's totally a man-eating plant. I'm pretty sure it's different from the one that lives in a pipe, though. Anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anything else in here. Oh yeah, apparently the sprinklers come out every morning on 7.30 on the dot. Mm. Yeah, remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. Well, you don't have to worry. They say idiots never catch cold, you know. <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. Um... I think you're thinking of ducks. Hmm. I'm starting to worry about you, hero. Can you tell me what 10 plus 10 is? What the heck? Hey, come on, you don't always have to call me dumb. I may have been held back three times, but that doesn't make me stupid. But if it'll make you answer, I'll happy your- uh, I'll happy your dumb question uh, I'll answer your dumb question. So, um, what was the question again? <laughs> don't worry, you just answered it. Uh, or maybe you just didn't pay attention. Who knows, he might not have good ears. My concern is with the bio lab. There was the only place in the fifth floor that we couldn't access. Mm. The bio lab, huh? I wonder what's in there. Could it be? If this was like a cliche horror game, it might be some kind of creature. The final boss. Or tyrant. Or... What? We're not in a horror game though. Oh, trust me honey, you're in some deep shit. <laughs> not just a horror game, but a fucked up game with that, that taboo too. Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood no matter how much you get think about it. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. No. I don't really like how you said it, but what you said is probably right. What? No, I said it was right too. How I said it was right too? Oh, whatever. Okay, sorry, I forgot to finish about the chicken coop and the hood shed. Alright. There was a bunch of chickens in the chicken coop, right? Mm. That's right! Five! Five chickens! <laughs> I love chickens! Let's raise them big and fat and we can make them fried chicken- Oh, oh of course! Of course! Give the black girl the fried chicken chop! Are you fucking serious, NIS? What the fuck? Oh, or barbecue decisions, decisions. Watch it. What? Next year you're gonna give her the watermelon treatment as well, huh? NIS. Oh, oh. Or how about raw? Cause there's nothing fresher than raw, right? I'm pretty sure that'll kill you. Fucking chick. Fucking fried chicken. Oh, we got. Damn it. You know. 
I mean, I, I, I like fried chicken as much as anyone else, but come on, the first person to say, ooh, I love fried chicken, has to be the black chick. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, uh, but a tool shed. You noticed it too, huh? That pickaxe? What? Huh? Oh, <laughs> what the hell did I get Miyaki, your fucking hero's voice? Hey, huh? What are, what about the pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed, and the words Crazy Diamond had been carved into the handle. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Mm. Crazy Diamond, huh? Yeah, that does sound kind of familiar, I think. It's true. I don't just think. I know. We've definitely seen that phrase before. Huh? Where? Ah, that's it! I remember! It was on Mono's uniform, on the back of his jacket. His jacket said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond. I see. You're absolutely right. Mm. But why would that be on the pickaxe and the garden? Could it be? Mono must have snuck it in there and done it, right? Not possible. But we didn't even have access to the garden until today. That's right. Then maybe Mono brought it up with him, and then he first came here and Monokuma confiscated it? Whatever the reason. That's what stuck out to me in the tool shed. Pickaxe connected to Mondo? Hmm. Well, what stuck out to me wasn't the pickaxe at all! Huh? Then what did? What I noticed was the lawnmower! I think maybe you can use it to call for help. Huh? How are you gonna call for help with the lawnmower? I don't know, maybe I can use it to crop circle. <laughs> that is our hero! Da -da 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 yeah, that's right! I'm gonna make crop circles! <sighs> well? I think it should be obvious as to why that won't work, considering how the sky is just painted blue. <sighs> what the heck's happened to you? You weren't like this in the beginning, you know? You know? Well, back then, my personality hadn't quite solidified yet. <sighs> how the fuck is this guy still alive after all these encounters? Like, oh my god. Like, I know the trouble of the dumb guy is fine and all, but then again, if we're drawing for horror cliches, then uh, we should have been the first one to die. Because she's black. I know you're saying people- No, she's Japanese, clearly. She just has dark skin. No, I'm calling her black. Whatever. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible, but I'm more disappointed in you now that I've ever been. I kind of want to give her a different voice. <laughs> like, I don't know why, I just want to give Aoi a Queen Lativa voice. I- I don't- <laughs> Okay. I didn't even know you could have a real life guardian inside a school. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. I guess we can't really talk about the. Oh, no, we did talk about the tool shed. Never mind. Uh. Do we say anything about her? It was the biofield, right? Oh, oops. Just in case. Hey. The bio room was the only room in the, uh, to us, to the fifth floor, that concerns me. Hmm. Okay. So we can't really do much of it. Oh, wait, what do you got? Yeah! I checked all the windows on the 5th floor, front and back, that used to kind of be Sakura's job, but... Anyway, no dice. There were metal plates on all the windows, just like everywhere else. Correct. Which means no chance of skipping on the 5th floor, either. So, um... But when I was looking around, I realized something about the layout of the school. What exactly did you notice about the layout of the school? Just a second. You took a good look around 5th floor yourself, didn't you, Makoto? Huh? Why'd you ask? Again. Because if you did, you must have noticed the fifth floor was lacking something every other floor has. An, an upstairs, upstairs, anyway? Something on all the f other floors, but not on the fifth floor? Are you talking about stairs? There aren't any stairways leading up from fifth floor. That's what you're talking about, right? Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? We're finally starting to get a clear picture in this school. Hmm. All that's left now is to solve the underlying mystery. But... But... That's the hardest part. Okay. Even if it's hard, we still gotta do it. Yeah, Hina's right. Everything will be okay as long as we work together. I'm sure we'll make it out of this. No, not I'm sure. We absolutely will make it out of this, no matter what it takes. Ooh, excuse me about the burp. Biakia, what do you gotta say? Hmm. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor. Well, no strange is a massive... Understatement. The smell of flesh and fat and blood. 
the white outlines of the countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What? What? What the heck are you talking about? The smell itself was horrific, far beyond any normal murder scene. Everybody's smell concentrated. God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna bark just hearing that you describe it. What? But I mean, what the hell happened in that room? So in other words... I can only imagine... I can only think of one thing. A large group of people died right there in that room. <laughs> a bunch of people were killed in that room? Stop, seriously, I'm gonna throw up. Can't be. Perhaps that's what was meant by... The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Huh? <laughs> You're thinking the same thing then. My theory is... The mass murder that took place in that room is the incident said to have happened one year ago. The awful scene in that room? That was the tragedy that happened a year ago. In other words... Precisely. The tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body of Hope's Peak Academy. If that's true, clear now. that would explain why Hope's Peak was forced to close its doors. Hey. I mean, I guess that all makes sense, but it's all just so awful. Not just awful, super awfully awful. They're right. It's beyond awful. It's terrible. Tragic. Hopeless. But still, how is it not one of us ever hear, uh, heard about something like that happening? Does that mean they really did cover it up? Hmm. Well, I think that's all the information we have for now. Yo. So, now what do we do? Hmm. Well, starting today, you're all under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure something out. No way. Jeez, how cocky can you be? You're gonna bust through the ceiling if your head gets any bigger. Um... So, what is it you want to figure out? Hmm. Kyoko's identity? Huh? Well... Kyoko's identity? But Kyoko is Kyoko, right? <laughs> yes, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for having been selected to attend Hope's Peak Academy. Hina's the ultimate swimming pro, Hiro's the ultimate clairvoyant, even Makoto is the ultimate lucky student. More unlucky than lucky these days, but... So what about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? Um... Now that you mention it, she's never told us. Hmm. Well, Kyoko doesn't really like talking about herself anyway, right? Hmm. It's not a matter of what she likes or does not like. This is a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's unwilling to reveal their true identity? <laughs> we need to avoid raising any more unnecessary suspicion. So Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. What? But, but, but why won't you t t t t tell us? Wrong. I didn't say I won't. I said I can't. What the heck? W what do you mean? So... Because I don't remember. What? I have no memory of what I am. No memory? You mean... Amnesia? What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. This is... You can't be serious right now, can you? I knew you wouldn't bel I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. However. But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear before we're done. What? So you have no intention of telling us. Then I can no longer stand by and do nothing. Hey. What are you going to do? Torture me? Hm. Nothing so barbaric as that. It's all clear now. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage any more further suspicious activity. What? Limit my options? Just give up. Give me the key to your room. But if she gives you the But if she gives you her room key, she can't go to sleep in her room. She'll be breaking a school regulation. Hm. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us about herself. J just hold on! A threat like that! That's fine. Fine, I understand. Hm. Good. You're finally in the mood for a conversation. Not saying a word, Kiko right walked right up to Byakuya and 
held out her room key to him. It can't be. You damn fool. Why did you refuse to talk? Because... Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. So, um... Maybe she really did lose her memory. Uh, um... If you really think about it, it doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever. Where would... Where the only... <coughs> Where only the worst stuff happened, right? Amnesia would fit in right in. However. The worst school where only the worst things happened? Do you really mean that? Huh? Hey. Can you really be sure that life here has been filled with only the worst things? What do you mean? Perhaps I've said too much. Kyogo then turned back and without a word began to walk Come away. On. Where do you think you're going? Don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to harm any of you. Those were her last words as she left. Kyoko's last words. The dining hall was silent. The only sound was the door opening and closing as Kyoko left the room. What the heck? What's with her deal? What? I think you went too far, taking her room key like that. <laughs> for her, that wasn't for, for far enough. <laughs> Maybe she gets off for of the attention. I can b believe her and join getting y y y y y y y y yelled at. Oh, fucking like you. Stop talking. You're getting nosy again, Toko. Yeah, please. Uh, one thing I agree with Byakuya is that you need to shut the fuck up, Coco. <laughs> Come on. Sorry. I can still hear you. The sound of you breathing, of your heart beating, it grates on me. Hey. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but. What about Kyoko? What's Kyoko gonna do? Plus the situation? It's just like before. It's no different from when everyone started accusing Sakura. And I? I'm no different either. I still can't stop anyone. What, what? what happened? Um. Uh, what the hell? Why'd you? Why are you yelling all of a sudden? Cause I mean. Cause, cause look. Oh hey. What? It's you! How long have you been standing there? Yeah. I'm very, very oh, wow. angry! I apologize for any headphone users there. <laughs> angry at. Oh, <laughs> angry at what? Yeah. At the thief! Yes, that's right. I'm very sad to have to tell you there's a thief and you missed. Hmm? What? Hey. My precious! They stop! Oh my god, should I make fucking Monokuma Golem? <laughs> my precious! Oh god, that's gonna be screaming in my voice. Fucking Monokuma's voice is already screaming in my voice already. Teacher had such faith in you. And this is how you repay me? With betrayal? <laughs> Reality is filled with so much hardships, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their fantasies. Um... But, what the heck is your precious? Yeah. Shut up! I hope all you get stuck in the hiring freeze and die penniless in the streets! What the heck? And he's gone. What the heck was he talking about? So, um... He said something about his precious getting stolen. Does anyone have any idea what that might mean? Hmm. It's like... It's likely has something to do with Kyoko. Huh? Hmm. Who else other than her would be willing to be able to steal something from Monokuma? Did Kyoko really steal something from Monokuma? But if that's true, what was it? And why would she do that? Whew. So we got three days, and this is day one. <coughs> or, I'm Let's guessing. Okay. Um. Uh-oh, we need to get out of here. You know? We can talk about this more tomorrow, and about Kyoko. However, however, after what just happened with Monokuma and Kyoko, I feel like there's something in the air. I would suggest you take extra precautions tonight. Stay in your rooms. Don't go wandering around. Well... Not like we need to, you to tell us that. No. Well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. Alright, we'll be right... Actually, no, we'll finish this uh, day off. Following his lead, each of us went back to our rooms. Before we end the episode. Or not end the episode, end the part. I need to put away the knife that I got from Toko. I think the safest place it will be is in my desk drawer. But anyways, 
Is Kyoko really going to be okay? She can't get into her room. What's she going to do? Is there something I can do? Something I can... Why is she going to sleep in my bed? As I opened my eyes, I realized I'd fallen asleep without realizing it. But more importantly... Did I hear the doorbell? Uh, Kyoko, you know, if you want to sleep with me, then... There's the... K Kyoko? I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. Hey, wait, Kyoko! Without acknowledgement, Kyoko disappeared into the depths of the darkened hallway. Well, I think this is a good time to take a really quick break and find out what this dressing room is. So, we'll be right back. <laughs> 